The sad and horrible events of Tethia, June 1982, for example, should serve as a constant reminder that intolerance, violence, political vigilantism, and military adventurism should not be tolerated and have no place in any civilized democracy such as ours. Without that, 30th June 1982 was nothing short of unbridled intolerance and violence. 30th June 1982 personified raw vigilantism and leadless military adventurism. While an interrupted and continued democratic rule with multiple transfer of power between the two political parties in successive national elections since 1992, may appear to banish the idea or thought of any possible military adventurism in Ghana, we should not get ahead of ourselves and think that all is well, for it is not. For each of these elections, including the registration of voters that precede them, as well as occasional by-elections, has not been without its fair share of disturbing moments and violence. With, associ with, with associated acts of political vigilantism, which in no small measure threatens the peace, stability, and development of this country, which will serve as a source of concern for all well-meaning Ghanaians. What should be a familiar exercise of a civil duty, and what is supposed to be a regulated process for the registration of voters and procedure for the challenge of prospective registrants and transfer of votes, where and have been marred by threats intimidation, assaults, and violence at the registration centers across the country. It should not be lost on us that such acts invariably scare away and restrict eligible Ghanaians from registering to vote and voting in national elections and referenda, a clear violation of their constitutional rights. The Supreme Court has, with remarkable consistency, underscored and upheld the rights of Ghanaians to be registered for and vote in national elections and referenda. Thus, any acts that prevent, intimidate, and restrict eligible Ghanaians in that regard should be deemed intolerable within our democratic space. It is why the Ghana Bar Association knows with deep concern the reported acts of intimidation, violence, and vigilantism that characterize the recent voter registration and vote transfer exercises, exercise in some places across the country, such as Cape Coast in the central region, Kukum in the Ahafo region, and the Dijama in the Ashanti region to mention by a few. It is often said that Ghana is an oasis of peace, surrounded by turbulence within a sub-region that is riddled with violence, lawlessness, and military adventurism in all sorts of form and shape. However, let us not take anything for granted. Let us not get ahead of ourselves. There's a lot to be done to have a truly functional democracy, working at full throttle that guarantees and oils our individual and collective aspirations and development. Let us have the awareness and consciousness of our past travails, struggles, and failures to get to where we are now and rededicate ourselves to doing our best not to go back to those dark days. As citizens, it is our collective duty to ensure that whatever we do, whether in word or in deed, should not create fertile conditions for military adventurers to take advantage to truncate our democratic journey. All of us have a role to play to make sure that violence, lawlessness, and vigilantism have no place in our democracy and political engagements, especially in the registration of voters and during and after general elections. Specifically, I speak to leaders and members of all the leading political parties, the Electoral Commission, the security agencies, and the government. To the youth, who are invariably exploited and manipulated by some political actors, I urge you to be purposeful in life channel your energies and exuberance into meaningful ventures. Do not fall for and be misled, be misled by unscrupulous politicians to engage in acts that destabilize our nation only for crimes. I dare say you are worth more than some few Ghana cities and a pack of cooked rice. Mm -hmm.